Greetings. Now that we have the skeleton application up, let's see how we can modify it to create something useful. The first concept we will look at is modules. Unlike in Zen Framework 1, modules here actually make sense. Every module is a complete self-sustained PHP application. Modules distinguish themselves with help of namespacing. Namespaces is a new concept in PHP 5.3. In Zen Framework 1, the concept of namespaces was emulated with underscores. That's why you had that very long sequence of names separated by underscores. That was to emulate the separate components of the framework and your application. This time, the namespaces of PHP 5.3 are fully taken advantage of. Modules are located underneath the module directory in a subfolder corresponding to its name. The structure of a typical module includes a config directory with module.config.php that has the module's configurations in it, module.php in the module's root directory with capital M that has the bootstrap code for the module to get it off the ground, and the SIC directory which has the source code for the module. The list of all available modules that the Zend application needs to look at is underneath the application's main root, config, application.config, modules, key. Right now the only module is the default application module that comes with the skeleton application. Back to the issue of namespacing, note how every file within the application module begins with the application namespace. So we know all of these files correspond to a isolated package called application. We're going to attempt to rename that into something that's used us better than just application. Right now I do not have a reason to create a whole big new module, so I'm going to simply rename application into something more suitable and by doing so illustrate all the important places where this module name matters. I will begin by changing the namespace of all the files that have the class name defined. That would be the module file itself that bootstraps the module any controllers that I have defined and I don't have any right now but that will also include any models that uh, I defined. Now I have to update the name of the directories so that the autoloader can find the files in the file system that can respond to this namespace. First we'll rename the name of the module directory itself Now the name of the directory that holds the source for this module. And just out of curiosity, let's see what I have so far. Okay, right now I have issues that the application doesn't know about the new module set of tutorial. It still looks at the old application. So we can fix that up by going into the overall configuration for the application and the name application into the tutorial. Yeah, okay, well, if nothing else, that gets confusion out of the way with the word, with the wording, and it should be able to at least find the new tutorial module. Okay, so now it's having trouble figuring out where the class and path names are. For that, we go into the module's configuration file. We need to update the names of the classes to match the new namespace that I have created for them. Right now, it is still looking for the controller index inside of the application namespace. I will update that here. These are the routers and I will go into routers in the next tutorial. For now, 
these are just the names of the controllers that are being run based on certain conditions. And here it is one more time. This creates a mapping of the controllers. Every controller that you create has to be explicitly defined in the module configurations. Again, more on that when I get to the controllers. If I try to run application now, it sees the controllers because I've updated the namespaces for them, but it still has trouble finding the view templates for them. That's because the view templates still have the old naming convention. So I can rename them into tutorial. And I will update the path for the template maps. And now everything works again. So if that was a bit too fast, the module names are controlled by the module key inside of the overall application array. Name of the module is the directory underneath the module folder. The source code for the module is underneath the SIC folder of the module folder. The templates underneath the module name of the view folder. The namespace of the module is defined in the top module.php file and then subsequent files are child of that namespace. The names of the controllers that are being called in that module are defined in the routers in this place over here and actual controllers are being defined in here, in this controllers key. Finally, the template directories for the module are being matched right through here. So this gives you a basic overview of what you need to do to have a functional module. And I will go into each individual feature of these configuration pieces in later tutorials.